Namaste and welcome to my channel. The topic of this video is Bengaluru Commuter Rail or the Bengaluru Suburban Rail. Bengaluru Commuter Rail is a under construction suburban rail network for the city of Bengaluru. A commuter rail project for the city was first proposed in 1983. Since then, several different route proposals were made, but the commuter rail project took no shape. It was finally approved in the 2019 rail budget. The central government would provide 20% of the equity and facilitate external assistance up to 60% of the project cost. It will be first of its kind and unique in India as it will have metro like facilities and rolling stock. The tracks will be broad gauge and maximum speed will be 90 km per hour with operational speed of 35 km per hour. The total length of the suburban rail is 148.17 km and there are total 62 stations. Four routes are planned and are named after the local flowers. The first route will be from KSR Bengaluru to Devanahalli via Yalahamka Junction. The total length of this route is estimated to be 41.40 km and 15 stations are planned out of which 8 stations will be elevated. This line will be named as Sampige line. The second route will be from Chikka Banavara to Benniganahalli via Yashwantpura Junction. The total length of this route is 25.01 km. 14 stations are planned on this route out of which 6 will be elevated. The second route will be named as Maligay Line. The third route will be from Kengeri to Whitefield via KSR Bengaluru and Bengaluru Cantonment. The total length of this route is 35.52 km. Total 14 stations are planned out of which 4 are elevated. This route will be named as Parijata Line. The fourth and the last route will be from Hila Lige to Rajana Kunte via Yalahanka Junction. This line will be 46.24 km long and will have 19 stations out of which 4 are elevated. This route will be named as Kanaka Line. If we talk about the current status of the project, on 7th October 2020, the project was approved by the Prime Minister's Office and the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. The Karnataka State Government commenced providing budgetary support for the commuter rail project and 500 crores was allocated in 2020-21 budget. Meanwhile, K-Ride, which is a joint venture company established in year 2000 by Government of Karnataka and Ministry of Railways, has kick-started the suburban project by calling tenders for land survey, hiring staff and other related works. Many stations will be built as intermodal integration hubs where people can switch easily with other modes of transport like metro. 53 air-conditioned trains inducted under PPP model with automated double-leaf sliding doors will be deployed on the suburban rail routes. The project is estimated to cost Rs 18,600 crores and is expected to be completed by December 2026. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching.